We, when we look across sort of Great the gaming here. metaverse, leading players include Unity, Roblox, Take-Two, Epic, but valuation still all over the place. How should investors value companies in this early but growing category? Well, look, I'm not sure the metaverse is exactly a category, but I, I would say that, um, look, when you think about the metaverse, what they're I think most people are talking about is web 3.0, but instead of being at a 2D presentation, it's 3D, it's real time, it's interactive. And you know, companies that make games, you know, whether it's Roblox or you know, it's Activision, those are gonna be important destinations in the theme park we're gonna call the metaverse or web 3.0. Where Unity participates is in the content creation for that. So more than 50% of everything that is real-time 3D in the world, that new metaverse thesis, is built in Unity, whether it's on a game console, a PC, a mobile device, um, an XR device, HoloLens, Quest. It's usually built in Unity. So we're, we're the underlying tool set for creating the metaverse, and we're also um, a set of services around monetization, analytics, hosting, voice for operating those businesses. But we're not a direct competitor for companies like a Roblox or Minecraft or you know World of Warcraft or whatever, where they make consumer applications. Right. So to that point, John, you have the ability to reach many more developers, many more parts of this ecosystem than, say, a Roblox, which is creating one of these universes. So back to the question, how should investors be valuing a company like yours versus, you know, a pure gaming company that's not building the tools necessarily? Well, look, I think gaming companies, I mean, it's hard to say this any more directly than to say, I just think we're in entirely different categories. And, you know, I don't know how to, how to you know, parse how one should should value Roblox. It's a great company with a product that millions of people love, but it is one destination in the metaverse. And Unity is a SaaS, SaaS software company. We build tools and services for literally what I think are going to be millions of companies that are going to operate in the metaverse space. So we're, in a lot of ways, maybe um, if you cast it back to the you know 1849. You know there are companies that had gold mines, and then there was Levi Strauss. We're the, we're the Levi's of this thing. We're not necessarily building a metaverse destination, a ride in the theme park. We're the underlying tool set and infrastructure. We just reported a 43% um, quarter. We've been hitting above 40 every quarter for the last couple of years. Keep you know beating our numbers and raising guidance. We're just a different category. Um, I'm, I love this company. We get to really define how the metaverse is going to come together and the way we pull our tools together. And Weta, you know, the recent acquisition we just described, Weta Digital, the, not the special effects house, but the technology team and tools, that's going to help us do it even faster, bigger, better. Yeah, John, uh, <laughs> I don't like this whole metaverse messaging thing. I mean, I, I, I appreciate what Unity does and the category and the growth in 3D and the use of that, not only in gaming, but across different categories in corporate. But I think there are some other companies, Facebook included, that are trying to glom onto that uh, and don't necessarily have all the products and business built yet. But anyway, um, <laughs> your thoughts on that, well, like, if just you want point, to. I agree with you there. Yeah. Th I agree with you. you. I mean, Thank the you. metaverse thing means so many different things to so many different people. If right. you go back to our S1 and what we've been saying for years, we're about the creation of real-time 3D applications. We described in our S1 over a year ago how that would manifest itself in a new version of the web. We didn't use the word metaverse, but whenever you get a hold of one of these memes, it seems like it runs its course. I don't know if this one's gonna run its course or hang for you know, around forever, but I can tell you, we know where we play and it's a, it's a real business. It's not a, a bank on some definition that I think most people you know, would quibble over.